Hebrews 13, 11 through 15 says, The altar from which God gives us the gift of Himself is not for exploitation by insiders who grab and loot. In the old system, the animals are killed and the bodies disposed of outside the camp. The blood is then brought inside to the altar as a sacrifice for sin. It's the same with Jesus. He was crucified outside the city gates. That is where he poured out the sacrificial blood that was brought to God's altar to cleanse his people. And here's our call. So let's go outside where Jesus is, where the action is. Not trying to be privileged insiders, but taking our share in the abuse of Jesus. This insider world is not our home. So we have eyes filled for the city about to come. Let's take our place outside with Jesus. No longer pouring out the sacrificial blood of animals. But pouring out the sacrificial praises from the lips, from our lips to, the, to God in Jesus' name. Awesome. Man, you read that and like you've been curious maybe for a little while that there's some stuff going on out there. And you read that, you got you have a responsibility all of a sudden, you know. I mean, and uh, that was a scripture that allowed us to know that God was doing something that we weren't. We still didn't know what it was because I told Rachel, said, "This is it. This is what we've been talking about." She said, "What do we do?" I said, "I don't know." So um, we attended a conference a couple of months later, and there was this, there was this guy there, a younger guy. Some of you have read his books, maybe his name is David Platt. He wrote a book um, named Radical that's a really good book. Um, and he got up there and he said, are we going to die in our devotion or die in our religion? Are we going to risk it all or are we going to retreat? I'm like, man, I want to I in. You know, get me in. And he said... Turn with me to Hebrews 13, verses 11 through 13. I was like, man, this is getting crazy. 